Um, I was just I'm thinking about something that I talk about the assault weapons ban and the magazine ban and all that stuff. Um, and I was thinking when I was 18 years old, I joined the military, and granted there were certain you know procedures and, and all, but with the signing of a pen, um, I could check out um, my rifle, which um, pretty much all the time was limited to a three-shot or three-round burst trigger pull trigger mechanism. <coughs> I mean, every time I pull the trigger, maximum of three rounds would be fired off. But at the same time, I could check out an M60 machine gun or an M249 saw machine gun, which was full automatic, and that was all you had. Um, I could also check out an M250 caliber machine gun. I could check out a Mark 19 fully automatic grenade launcher. Um, I could also check out a M9, Beretta M9, 9mm semi-automatic handgun. I could also check out, which is attached to my rifle, the M203 40mm single shot grenade launcher. So, let's see here, the M2, M60, M249, Mark 19, so I could check out four fully automatic weapons, a M4 or the M16 A2, three round burst, so I could check out five weapons that are already has been regulated um, by the National Firearms Act. Actually, six, including the 203. And my issue revolve, issue, revolve, issue sidearm, which was, you know, some automatic only, almost identical to civilian models. Major difference is just the markings. Um, but I find that very interesting that then, at that time, um, I could check these weapons out, and it was okay. And in fact, when I was overseas, um, if I was carrying my M4, again, three round burst, I had an M203 attached to it, and my sidearm. And I carry three magazines for the pistol, I think five, if I remember correctly, for the M4. Uh, most times I do not carry um, I mean, uh, rounds for the grenade launcher. Um, so I find it very interesting that I could carry all this ammunition, including a weapon that was regulated by the NFA. And it was okay because it's inside of my pen. But, literally, overnight, um, as soon as my discharge was effective in the United States military, I could no longer, or I, well, I'm not going to say no longer, but now they want to say I'm not trustworthy enough to have those weapons. Why? The only thing that changed was my legal obligation to the United States government. That's it. It didn't change my self-induced obligation to the government, I guess. Or I should say the Constitution. That didn't change at all. The love of my country, the love of my freedom did not change at all. The respect I have for the con my country, my freedom and everything, and its citizenry did not change at all. I am as willing to do anything as I was when I was in. And I also find it interesting that when I was, let's say, 19 years old, I don't like to say it, but yeah, I was probably dumber, probably more impulsive than I am now. But yet, they don't want to trust me with even 30 rounds, or even 15 rounds, out of a weapon that has similar look to what I was trusted with. So why is that? I always kind of find it interesting that, you know, 
why should I trust you or anybody or the government if they're not willing to trust me?